What's good, y'all? I'm your host, Juan Ye, and welcome to the 49th episode of our GTA Online Racing Masters series, where the goal is to win three of five in the one-two position against a certified cringe in the GTA 5 community, like Laughing Stock Jacks and Mary Wather 2. But of course, we are not alone. We're joined by the fucking GOAT. fucking fight this goddamn cat. I swear to God. And so he only needs... obnoxious. Like, he only needs the one introduction. I the swear, himself. dude. Like, it's unnecessary, dude. Jax! What is wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, start it, bro! Start it! Start it, bro! Bro! Fucking relax. Come on, Jax. Dude. Oh, my God. Jax. 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 You don't need to eat the plant. Start the fucking game! Jax. Oh my god! Jax. Literally, Jax. in real Jax. time, fucking messages. Jax. Dude. Jax. 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 He's there trying to eat your plant. He's trying to get in the bag. He's trying to move, eat the cat food. He wants to smack everybody, so just keep that in mind. So I didn't just grab him because he got mad at me the second I went near him. Went, meh, meh, meh. We're not playing this game. I don't care. You can be grumpy. You can be a little asshole. But go. Thank you. Thank you. Normally he doesn't frustrate me like that, but... It's been a whole, like... It's been a whole week of trying to get these videos done, and then we get a chance finally, and he just decides to be a clown. Oh, I threw him at his face. I threw the packing peanuts at his face because I was annoyed. I know. Normally he doesn't annoy me, but it's just like... Sorry. Love you. All right. I'm going to go win this race now. <clears throat> All right. Not our normal video start, but we don't have to deal with cats, but when Jax gets into a place that he's not supposed to be. Which All right, let's do this. This is a cat-free room. Back in the fucking dry, dude. It's a cat-free room. He's not supposed to be in here. A lot of things we're going to get into. We got oh, way too much stuff in, the in corner this room. there. So you can't get around the pool table to chase him. So he's just... Unnecessary for you to do that. I'm trying to get this content made. It's been a fucking week of things. Whoa. But we are back. Wan is back from sickness. Um, as we should note, this video is gone a few days later than normal. But Gamar is back from sickness, and that's the that's the importance that Gamar is no longer in sickness. He doesn't have that driving skill like I do, where I just drove through sickness in one episode. But um, Somehow I didn't get fucked up as much as I thought I would by that. Know what I mean, Gamar? Oh. I don't think you can hear me. You fucking move, dude. I can't hear you now. If you were if you had audio issues. Can you hear me now? Oh, okay. I think my wire got partially unplugged when I was trying to get Jax to leave. Ooh, that was a really good turn there. Is that a different color for your Kreider? Yeah, we changed it up slightly. Mmm, I like it. We'll get into that in Very a moment. Very subtle. But, as I was saying, um, 
I'm glad you're back from sickness. Um, said that you don't have that same ability as I do to race and win an episode through sickness, but I'll let you slide this time. Yeah, that wasn't fucking some regular ass sickness, dude. I like, I don't even know what the fuck happened. I don't even remember like the last two or three days, to be honest with you. But I was fucking. We fucked. worked through the week. I did some extra content. I made a new GTA racing series. That's totally an original idea. Um, and isn't just racing masters, but myself. And um, that totally won't be a weekly thing now. Could be interesting. Oh my god. I mean, I feel like there's lots of times that we don't get to really talk about like, just how I'm driving and racing. I think something like that. Are you a little bit more to focus on that? Yeah. Bro, this dude's a clown. Come on, dude. Um, as for this car paint color, um, it is kind of the... Um, what are they called? New Year's Resolution. What? No, the paint color, dude. Um, Prismatic? Yes that word so I had the one before like when we jumped to PS5 where it was silver we ran with that for a while and I liked it and then I went to the matte black so I wanted to keep the black but I also liked that design to the car and I kind of was like let's do that again I was looking back to some of our older content, and uh, when I saw that silver crag, I was like, yeah, we gotta bring that back. Nice, nice. Yeah. We got some good content throughout this week, though, for anybody interested as well. Uh, monthly miniseries. I had a great episode of that in Need for Speed. Um, the Bozos online were not ready for that work, dude. Bro, what'd you pull up on them with? Oh, I got absolute body. But, um, oh. I mean, if you pick the class that isn't the, the Mercedes that I have, like, can't do anything. I get some fucking base bullshit. Sorry. But that video will be out later in the week. But what was out was my solo racing master. I call it racing master. It's one person. Um, so it's solo racing master. And in that dude, community caught this L, dude. Absolute community got clapped. I got four of the five races. Bam. I got taken out in one of them because some dude's been a fucking idiot. We were doing Martinsville with hot rings. And one dude just decided, I'm not even going to try to pass you. He just took me out. I was second. So, I don't think I could have got the win, but I just went in the corner and the dude was like, yeah, you're not making it through this corner. So I got like fifth, but... See, now that, that could be a really interesting... Oh, boy. That could be a really interesting series because it, as much as it is the exact same thing as Racing Masters, plural, um, it's different because uh, the dynamic of it's a lot different. One, you don't have two people racing, which is the obvious, but two, it's also, I'm the host of this race series, whereas I pick all the tracks, which tend to typically be 
my tracks or a random track or like one of your tracks. Whereas most likely, I mean, I, I don't know what your plans are for it. You're going to pick majority your tracks, what you like to race, Incorrect. and then maybe... Really? Yeah, it's a mix. I'm trying to do like one or two of mine, one or two of yours, and then one or two community, depending on how it goes. Hmm. I'm not doing all my tracks. Oh, okay. That video only had one of my own tracks. Airport. Uh, what did I pick for that one? It was the first race that I did. Oh god. Um, oh, this dude's fucking pulling up. Oh my god. I don't know what I did to be honest with you. Shoot, teacher, um, shoot, teacher, shoot, teacher. Okay. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Let's go. Had Let's to be go. done. We're back. We're back, baby. That, dude. We're back. Had to be done. Yes. Fuck that, dude. I was, I was like, <laughs> all right, who's gonna make this move? How are we gonna do this? <laughs> I thought we didn't. Let's go. Oof. Let's go. Good start. Good start to coming back. Good start. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, dirty driver. I would have glad you were right behind me so that way when I spun him you didn't get taken out. Yeah, and I gave a little push there at the end just in case he fucking was gonna try and turn back on me. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Let's see. What did I pick for the tracks in solo? Oh, I know what I picked. I did the street race. I um high ring street course. And then we did Watkins Glen. Which that one I had a great finish on. Crow X Tour. Probably not the best to pick against the community just because you can clap everybody with electric supercars and nobody else knows that. Uh, and then we did Martinsville with Hot Rings. Which that one I didn't do the best just because I got driven through so much. Um, I was like fifth, top five the whole time, but I got to second and then I got. Completely taken out. And then we did um, Zero Gas uh, City Circuit. Which there's a great short from that, which really shows the uh, the community's lack of driving talent. Because I was way behind in that race, because I, uh, I got crashed. And then I hit the gas pump, which is a rare mistake that I don't typically make. But I clipped the gas pump, and then I was way behind. And I just drove through the field, got up to third. Dude in third decided, I'm going to slam you off the track instead of actually trying to race. So I ended his career. And then the dude in first instantaneously just goes into this like hyper defensive fucking I'm scared you're gonna crash me but that I want to crash you mode I was just gonna pass it and then he just took himself out cause he like was fucking zigzagging across the track and then he clipped the grass and flew over me and tried to take me out but failed and I was like this is why you're all just fucking stupid Like, these dudes in the community don't understand. Because the thing is, is that that track, you can get such a good slipstream to the finish. Yep. Why would you try to crash somebody before that? You're on the last lap. You come off the last corner. Why would you try to crash somebody going into that, like, main street? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Are you dumb? I know you are, but, like... Bruh.
There's no need to try to crash me. That's fine. Ready. All right, I had a sense. 
messages about basketball. My brother's out here rooting for the Celtics to win and shit. The fuck? It's not allowed. They're very, very anti Celtics. So. As long as Bundy Boy's ever stayed in here. I thought bro was desperate to race for a second. This would be interesting though, this track without snow on it for the first time ever. We're back, though, recording this on our old recording day, Gamar. How do you feel? <laughs> this used to always be our special Wednesday thing. Bro. The fucking... Pain when you said the power was out, bro. And then when you said it could be days, I was like, bro, I kill myself. And everybody was telling about how everything's fucking flooded and all this shit. I was like, bruh. It's like it's over, dude. Good thing Zatch is gone, though. That's the good news. Do we have confirmation of Zatch being gone? No. I'm gonna have to look this up. I need to know if zatch has gone, dude. Please tell me he's gone. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> this first comment, bro. Oh my god, I hate it here, dude. God damn it. Our celebrations were premature, Gamar. What's that? All bro's gotta do is clean up a little bit and he's back. God damn it. Bro said general cleanup and replacing ingredients due to power loss. Bruh.
will certainly keep you in the loop. <laughs> Bro, these fucking comments, dude. We, we have this one. You take as long as you all need. Hoping there's no major loss and insurance can cover anything needing replacement. We look forward to increasing our number of visits per month when you reopen. Bruh. This one says thank you for keeping the community happy. We support you. Bro. Oh my god. It's kind of ruined my day. And I was having a good day. What about you, Gamar? Do the bitch. God, this dude just cannot keep getting away with this. I was like, this dude's gone, bro. Again, I don't want to put that negative energy out there like I said in the message, but he deserves it. Like, I don't want to put negative energy at people that deserve it, and he deserves it. Because he's a fucking snake and a little lying bitch. And an overall terrible person. The fact that this man got away with this. Bro literally got flooded and said, oh, it's okay, we'll buy some new ingredient. Like, bro, I want that shit up to, like, the fucking window, dude. And generally just, like, his building. The other ones, I don't want to get destroyed, but his, like, up to the fucking window, everything gone. Tear it down. But instead we got fucking Bozo McBo saying, I'm gonna buy there more now that you got flooded. I'm gonna buy there more now that you got flooded. Like, bruh. Dude's serving you fucking overpriced drinks out of fucking moldy ass buckets. And you're just like, I can't wait to fucking have more of that. Like, is the man retarded? He fucking commented, I'm gonna buy more. Like, considering this dude's only fucking quality drinks are the ones that we came up with the ideas for. Tells you a lot about his fucking business. Jump. How do we get fucked out of that and this fucking idiot? This is probably Zatch, dude. This is probably Zatch. I'm done, dude. <laughs> Move, Logan. You're done. We got Zatch in this race. We got Logan Paul. Fucking squads here. We got Big Buck on her back there. Elspin Lowell. Fucking Elspin Law, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm be honest, dude, this track doesn't really feel any different than when it was in the snow. I think you need to drive it with the supercars. Bruh! Damn. 
I think you need to drive with supercars because then the higher speed kind of makes it fucking wild. But I mean, I think with the hot rings, you slid a little bit in the corners, but but there's nothing I can do to avoid that dude. He literally was driving up the track to where. I was yeah. Going. Yeah, I unfortunately had the uh, outside there, so I had a better, but. The fact is that everybody behind still lost time to me when I got crashed. Because so I was 9 seconds behind, or ahead. And now I'm 10 seconds ahead, so I literally gained time. I don't think you gained time, but I think you didn't. Well, I did. I gained 1 second. Over them, naturally, so I didn't lose anything. Right, but I think, like... You saying you gained time is not the pro I think they lost time. Well, overall, I gained time from when I looked and then when I crashed and checked again. Yeah, because had you not crashed, you would not. You would have been further ahead. So that's what I'm like. Well, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, but I mean, in between the time, I still gained time, even though I crashed. E. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck. You had a good recovery. So you can watch out, dude up top. Harder. Oh God! How oh. Oh, I thought you that. almost had that shit, dude. That's a first. Uh, if you hit the tube, it's very rideable. Huh. Bro, Elspin Law is fucking trying, dude. No moss. Live moss? Mas muerte for these fucking clowns. I don't know clowns in uh, Spanish. It's literally fucking Espanol, dude. Have you seen that dude? <laughs> that dude's literally a fucking clown. Bro, we got some. Oh, there's there's another good video that's coming out, dude. Actually, there's a few good videos, bruh. Bruh, I've, I've been killing it the last week solo videos when you've been out with illness. But I don't think you're ready, dude. Played some pretty high quality games in you, by the way. Well? Mm hmm. Big Jenga? And Tetris? And Minecraft? I don't think I played any of those three games, no. Damn, imagine sucking that bad that you fucking can't even crash someone driving the same direction. Dude must have been watching an instructional video on how to crash people in fucking English, dude. Damn, imagine being fourth and getting lapped in this race. You fucking trash. You better.
Burrow. 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 Bro, we killed it so far. Mm. Two races, two dubs, I mean. Ow. All right. Hmm. Got something special for us today. Oh boy, what is it? We're back with uh, some racing, and it's been a little while. It's been a little while for for you guys. It hasn't been, but for us, it's been a little while since we've raced last. Yeah, it's been a week, guys. So. And that was the fucking snow playlist, which I want to fucking forget forever. We were recording so until means... 3 in the morning, crashing into the walls, wanting to kill ourselves. But we're back. Right. Yes. Oh, did I cut um... you off, Gamar? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what do you guys like? Um, so, <laughs> I have uh, made a new track. Bro, I missed this so much. And we're going to test it right now. Well, not test it, but do the track right now. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this one, bro. I've been so ready to record, dude. Like, I know it's only been a week, but like, we also haven't played any games together in a week. Like, bruh, bro. I'm s got the jokes going again. Got the memes going again, bro. 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 Anyways, um, fresh meat. bro, shut up, fresh meat. Stop calling me, dude. Jamar, what's the best part of waking up? Going to sleep. Well, I thought it was Folgers in your Get cup. But... Nope. You're wrong, dude. Damn. Going back to bed. That's the best part. <laughs> I thought the best part of waking up was vultures, but... Nah, dude. I didn't get my fucking... $100 for that ad read, so I'm not fucking shouting them out, dude. <laughs> Don't pay me after. <laughs> well, hey. Yeah, I'll send them the clip. Yo, man. Hey, what's up? No. Coffee sucks in general, so... 
definitely don't drink fucking Folgers, dude. You get so much better coffee than that shit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the worst part of fucking however, waking up. I just bought GTA however, Plus! However, there is... Folgers is not the worst coffee. Is it coffee made by Zachary Dexter? Yes, it is. And it's not the coffee that Zachary Dexter gets, because that coffee is pretty lit. But mm -hmm. I'm talking like it is. the fucking, literally him buying it and then making it himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that dude fucking sucks. Right behind that is the coffee that they give out to pros at Lowe's. Um, that shit also sucks. Then again, I did have half a container of creamer with some coffee in it, so it made it not really that bad. Um, but no, the coffee from Dexter Shit Shack, if you guys ever been to Dexter Shit Shack, you'll know uh, it's complete shit because he thinks he knows the fucking measurements when I did the correct measurements. So how would you fucking do this? Fucking show your work, bitch ass. Bro really says show your work, dude. Bro said, and come then up you're just like, <laughs> you're just like, like well, <laughs> like it's simple, dude. You get a fucking cup. If we're weighing out fucking forty, whatever, just say a number hypothetically, forty ounces or whatever the fuck of coffee, and we're using fucking two liters of water, and then you get a machine that takes double the water, you would put double the coffee. So if you need four liters of water and you have 40 ounces of coffee, you'd probably do 80 ounces of coffee to your four things. It's not hard, but this dude's like, oh, that's not how we're going to fucking do it. I'm going to come with some shitty system that doesn't make any fucking sense. And that's the way you fucking do it. And I was like, yeah, that's great. When you were explaining it to me, it made sense. When this dude fucking started talking, I was just like, like I literally, you, what are you talking about, dude? Bro literally <laughs> I, fucking said, I had no clue. bought a bigger machine that takes double or triple the amount of water, so why would you not double or triple the amount of coffee to keep the recipe, we'll call it a recipe, like, because it is basically a recipe, Consistent. to keep the recipe ratio the fucking same? Like, if you're going to make, I don't know, a cake, but you're going to make double the cake, you're going to double the recipe. Right. And the only instance of where he would be right, which he's not, is if you had, let's say, in your example, you had uh, the 40 ounces of um, coffee, and to do that, or 80 ounces of coffee, and to do that, you needed um, however, however much in the coffee grounds, let's just say it was... Uh, I don't fucking know the measurements anymore. Either way, the only way that he he would have been right is if he did a uh, two to one ratio, mm -hmm. to where you had two parts water to one part coffee. Then he would be right because then you would add either more if you had a two to one or less if you had a two to point five or something like that. <sighs> but he literally just bought a bigger machine, and I said, "How much more do we have to add?" That's your fucking question. You buy a bigger coffee brewer, which does double or triple or whatever it was. It's not hard to figure out. But this dude's like, actually, we're going to do fucking 0.3 more fucking coffee. And I'm like, bruh, shut up, dude. Now, clearly, people like it if they're saying they're going to go more. And clearly. It's like, yeah, they... Well, they're saying that to save your feelings, dude. They got the thing is, they're caught up in the fact. Their coffee and shit. They're caught up in the fact that it's a local coffee shop. That's the thing. They're only caught up in that. They're only caught up in the fact that it's not Starbucks and it's not Dunkin' Donuts. And I can buy a smoothie here as well. That's what they're caught up on, dude. That's literally the fucking thing. Like, bruh, you bought the fucking local propaganda so hard, dude. It's not even like it's a city that you want to fucking be in, dude. It's literally the fucking worst. I 
I avoid that city as much as fucking possible, dude. I fucking hate it. Okay. Why the fuck is that dude there? I don't even know. There might have been a gap in between. Oh, they might have flew off the ramp or some shit and said, I'm gonna go here. So in conclusion, Zatch is the word. Oh my god, you haven't worked for this dude in almost four years, and you're still being a hater. You know what that's called? Living rent free. Oh my god, if we go back and watch your videos from 2020, it will literally be the same conversation that you just had. Speaking specifically on the rent free meme, um, do you think that if we told this dude that he's living rent free in our heads, he'd be upset about it because he fucking never, he, that dude fucking never has lived in a place of free rent? <laughs> <laughs> See, I had to pay for my life. I had to, I was kicked out at 18. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, was just a fucking angry man that he got fucking. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe I got that checkpoint. That was the fucking root of all this fucking problems. Being kicked out at 18, just being fucking resentful about it. Cause that's all his fucking comments. Somebody pulls up on a fucking car. Oh, their parents bought that for him. And I'm like, how the fuck do you know that? He's like, I just go. Then if we were to say something like, nah, dude, she shook her ass on OnlyFans to fucking buy that car. <laughs> He's like, like, oh, oh boy, you're fired for saying that. Oh boy, let and me then, subscribe. And then, and then subsequently, yeah, subsequently <laughs> he'd ask for the fucking OnlyFans fucking ID and. Do be out there supporting her. And still smashing Lindsay Ball on the side. Oh my god. Bruh. I can't. Bro, we're killing people on this. Next closest person is donkey bitch ass, fucking 15 seconds behind. And counting up. Because everybody tonight sucks, dude. Did I hit you? A little, but I'm good. All right, that must have just been a glitch thing, because on my screen I had room to cut in front of you. Air dog is over here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. He doesn't have that air dog in him. Oh no. Damn. Oh no. Not a bozo. Goodbye. Have fun. Oh no. Anyways, lol. Lol. Troll lol 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 with a wing box, idiot. Fucking 
Tremoji. Who's next to get lapped? Fucking this dude with the worst fucking name in the history of names? That's what it looks like to me. Cockies. Nah, it's not the next dude to get fucking lapped, bro. Oh, this dude. Damn it. It's Nick, bitch ass. Fucking. Which one? All of them. Like I said, I've only met one Nick who's not a fucking clown. And I've met like 10 people named Nick, so that tells you a lot. Dude would have a fucking numerical thing under 18 just so you can fucking talk to people under age. What? <laughs> Mix. Oh. Bro, what is it with people named fucking Nick and fucking being on Epstein Island? Bro? It's cringe. There we go. Get fucking I'm sorry, dude. Your name's Nick, but I just fucking had to crash you. Like, I don't care. People named Nick, Nicholas, whatever the fuck. Fucking Nick gets some bitches, dude. Nitch. Honestly, dude. Whatever fucking spelling you fucking choose... Fucking spell it with some weird ass fucking vegan letters. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Get crashed. Everybody named Nick is just a fucking idiot. This has just been absolute domination. We're back. We are so fucking back, dude. Near two. You know what that is, Gamar? Another dub? It's another oh, racing pull up on Masters like W Yeah, it was really uh Oh my god, why do you have so much energy tonight? I never see as much energy from you in your videos. It's a really poor showing from the community to be honest with you. Step it up, community. Yeah, community. Especially you, Nick. You suck. <laughs> oh my god, you're just giving off hater vibes tonight while also being absolutely fucking wild. We're having a great time. I'm having a great day. Has anybody ever seen me this excited and happy in a video, dude? Jack's it's like rare energy. L, but only... Jack's called the L, but only five people took it. Bro, this is such a fucking... Bro, this is such a rare energy for me to be in in a video, dude. Yeah, it sounds like you just had a good fuck, dude. Like, I was having a great time, dude. I'm having a great time. I mean, it could have easily went the other way. Like, you could have had a terrible time. Like, that ra that first race could have sucked. Bro, I'm having a fucking... great day, dude. I'm having a great time. Ow, fuck. I'm having a great time, dude. What's this track called? Bro, you can catch the L, dude. What are you rating that track, Lamar? 
Write that in A. Write that I'll write it in A as well. That was just fantastic. That was a simply lovely time. It's even better with F1 cars. Seems like it would be, Gamar. I cannot wait to try it with F1 cars. A dude straight up started the conversation without knowing what I was saying first. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, well, you like finished. You said seems immediately after I finished that sentence. I was like, did this dude like have a second to process what I just said? <laughs> and it sounded like you like were thinking as you were saying the words. I mean, I seen that you made this track on the Rockstar sites. So I already knew it existed. Oh. Whenever rated your other track. Your Yaz Grand Prix track. Yaz Grand Prix. What are you gonna rate that Gamar? Um I'll rate that nasal. Just wish that the thing was a bit higher. I can't fix that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a C just because of that. All right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Oh, wait, didn't we? Yeah, no, we did this one last week. Never mind. Not slow it up. My God, Kamar. You having a great day, Gamar? It's all right. Yeah, dude. I'm just thrilled to be here, Gamar. Good for you? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's great for me, honestly. I'm so happy just to be living. Living my best life. And you know, I always get asked, like, are you thrilled to be here? Absolutely, dude. People ask me daily. It's your favorite part of the day, and I'm just like, bruh. Do I need a pick? Bruh, so I got some scissors here. It's pretty cool. You ever just like play with scissors to see what happens? No, it's dangerous. Is this dangerous? It sounds very dangerous what you're doing right now. Do you even know what I'm doing? It sounds like you're opening and closing the scissors at a high rate of speed. Yes. Fun fact the fastest moving object in the world. Is uh Jeez, nice. the closing is the closing closing of the um deepest point in scissors when you like do what you were just doing that shuts so fast that that's the fastest moving thing on the planet. Oh my god, I can see the fastest moving thing in the world. It's like me and GTA racing, it's so fast. Fast as fuck, boy. Alrighty. We should start a podcast. The fuck is this? This is the new track, my guy. 
Bro made more new tracks. Can you stop making new fucking tracks, dude? I gotta keep... Bro, I had to go through and delete so many bookmarked tracks. Because this dude just cannot stop building tracks. Is this like one of those shitty crossing over tracks? Uh, or do I just pick the mean? layout that I want to race? Oh, oh no, 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 no! It's uh, it's got one set layout. It doesn't have two different layouts. It's I didn't build the other track layout yet, but it's going to have another. It's got roads for a second track layout. That are already on the track, but it's blocked off so you can't access them. Adios, I guess, then? Never. What did you change on the Octagon, Gamar? I noticed that's changed on him. Uh, I just moved the checkpoints a little bit. I widened a couple of them and then moved some other ones closer to the edge. So that way, if you're cutting the corner a little bit, you won't... You can still grab the checkpoint because I know it's been an issue multiple times throughout multiple times you race that, and I didn't want that to be the reason why that shit's not played. Yeah, no, that hasn't made me want to fucking punch a wall or kill myself ever, honestly. That shit's, that shit's happened so many... It's happened to me in, like, every single time I've done it. It's happened to you every time, like... I mean, that like, was the right, short that went on today. This is a costly mistake. Yeah. Literally that, dude, where I I stayed on the track entirely. I just clipped the curb, and I lost the race because of it. And I also got one dislike because of it. <laughs> but that's the thing I'm always curious about, is, like, why do people dislike things? I know I've said it before. Like, why'd you watch that clip and say, nah, I'm a dislike that? What'd you not like about me missing a checkpoint? That is interesting. Um, that like, was that the up. video dumb? Did you think what happened to me was dumb, so you're going to dislike it? Is the track host a retard? Like, what's the reason? <laughs> well, it's interesting you bring that up, because I think that... Um, I think it does go the same for life. Comments and... Comments, well, likes, dislikes, and then comments in general. And I'm going to refer to comments specifically, not YouTube, but like a positive or a negative comment and like a store or something like that. Mm -hmm. I tend to see <clears throat> that you get people who are more likely to leave comments if they've had a negative experience yes. mm -hmm. more rather than if they've had a positive one, like Absolutely. a really positive one. Absolutely. Uh, so I think that it's the same thing with dislikes in YouTube, and people are just like, oh, this dude said a swear word, and my mm. kid's watching this, I'm going to dislike it, or fucking, uh, you said something about uh, everybody's lord and savior, Joe Biden, or, mm. you know, some shit, like some, some one thing in the video that made the person super duper mad. And like we were saying, because this plays into the part of, um, another conversation that we were having a couple of days ago and over multiple times is uh, when people leave negative comments as opposed to like positive comments in the chat on a video, you'll see a lot more negative negativity. It's because dudes just are always naturally thinking negative rather than a person like, oh, hey, I really like that, you know, track build or I, I really like the conversation you guys were having. It's easier for people to say some fucking negative shit about a video than a positive thing. You're trash in this game. Go kill yourself is easier than that was a brilliant pass. Yeah. And then, I mean, look at it. When you ask these dudes for clarification, like, what do you mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Something about a, a wreck, right? What do you mean I didn't drive good? Then these dudes... Uh, are like they either don't respond or they personally attack you with something that has nothing to do with the original topic. So it's just like, yeah, clearly these dudes aren't thinking logically and they're just acting out of emotion. Because again, you'd see that exact exact same thing if it were real life with uh, a comment like at a store 
and a person had a bad experience. If they comment some shit, like they're like, "Oh, I'm never shopping here again." They're gonna be in next week. Oh, absolutely. You're not gonna stop. You're not gonna stop shopping at that store just because <laughs> you fucking. I love a bad when experience. you see Unless dudes it's... mad about some fucking minuscule shit, dude. My favorite is the fucking. Oh my bro, my favorite thing to fucking witness. Is the boomers who are mad about self checkout existing? Oh my god, that's the funniest fucking shit! And they're all fucking mad. And the reason that I bring this up was oh my god, invite session. Saturday, we had the uh, the storm snowstorm is coming right. So everybody's getting ready for the snowstorm. This dude is buying. A snow shovel. It's like nine or it's like eight thirty, bro. And I was talking to the cashier at self checkout, and this dude comes up and is like, "Where is there a cashier I can go to?" Now the thing is, our self checkout is called assisted self checkout, so the cashier at self checkout will come over and will do your whole transaction for you at the self checkout if you want. Like they'll do that. They. They will help with it. Like, we literally, in our, all the training videos, everything, they call it assisted self-checkout. Help the customers check out, but you can kind of, like, the customer can do their own thing, but they can also, like, if they need help, you can help them. But she wasn't just going to say, yeah, I'm going to help you, because this dude came over all like, oh, where's there a cashier? So it's like, okay, go down to lumber. And this dude comes back, and he's all fucking mad. We're there, after he cashes out. And instead of just walking in between the self-checkout, which is the exit of our store, in between each register, we have barriers set up. They can slide back, but we don't want to have 10 fucking exits to the door, right? So, in between all the registers, there's little gates. So, only at self-checkout and all the way over by customer service can you walk through. And this dude just walks through and was all fucking mad at the gates there. It's the funniest shit. Because the fucking dudes all hurt about self-checkout. I love to see it. It was just like, bro, it's it's not that big of a deal. Literally, in the time that you were fucking angry and walked down to lumber, then walked back to leave, you could have picked up a scanner, pressed one button, inserted your card, and left, and already been on the road driving home. So instead, you're still in the store, fucking mad because self checkout exists. But my fate, bro, my favorite self checkout is to see all the dudes that. Uh, your store, the fucking customers have no idea that it fucking exists. And just the look on their face of confusion. Oh my god, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> my store, bro. People and I just walk by swear... and go check out while everyone's standing there, fucking confused, and I'm just like, alright, dude. And then I'm just I like, mean, oh. even if. <laughs> and then they see that you can check out there because I'm like fucking done. And I'm just like, oh, I can go check out here. I'm like, bruh. Bro, even if, like, the computer had an issue, or it was like a, a ghetto self-checkout like we have, like, just touch the screen, dude. Just attempt. I know sometimes it says, like, store assistance needed, but, yeah. like, I swear, people, like, I've seen people just walk over to it because I was having a conversation, like, uh, Starbucks, I was watching the door or something like that, and I see a person come over, and these dudes are looking for the, where it is. Like, they think it's, that a person's gonna be standing there or something. I mean, it doesn't like, help that you don't have anybody there, like, every other store has for self-checkout. Like, that definitely does not help, because every store that has self-checkout, in some form, most of them don't go to the extent that we have a Lowe's with assistance self checkout. Well, you just have somebody there, like, that can say, go here, go there, or help if there's a fucking problem, but you don't. <laughs> but these dudes just get confused and it pops up and says, Do you have a credit card? And it's like, What? This doesn't accept my money. And they just fucking leave the screen, or it breaks and they fucking walk off. It's leaving the transaction there, and there's no fucking light because nobody set that up so nobody knows to go reset it Bruh. i just love the look of the confusion dude
Oh just yeah, the dude. Thing. It's that, bro. I've got like pictures of dudes who leave their cart, and I, I know you've seen this shit before when I was working. Um, but they just leave their cart in front of the fucking door. Like they don't put it away. They push their cart over to the cart bay, but they don't just put it back on bro, the. Bro, what the fuck is the so... point in that, dude? You're an absolute fucking dumbass. There's no fucking need to take me out for absolutely no goddamn fucking reason. You're clearly a lap down, and you're a piece of shit. You're a terrible person. You should go fucking kill yourself. Completely unfucking necessary. What an absolute clown. I know you drive a devastating with fucking brain cell fucking zero. But my god. Fucking people are the worst. Well, I'm gonna fucking drive across and crash you because I have fucking zero talent. And think this is the fucking way to play a video game. But I'm a fucking brainless piece of shit. I should fuck off. You probably fucking should, dude. My god. The fucking worst. I hate Devastate drivers. Alright, now that I made our short, um, what were you saying? Um... I don't even remember. Dudes leaving their carts in front of the door or some shit? Oh, yeah. Like, you're talking like when they just oh, push them yeah. back in front of the shit and don't put them away? Yeah. Gross. Oh, my God. It's like, bruh. So, yeah, these dudes fucking... Don't... Okay. <clears throat> so... People go up, push their carts to the cart bay, but they don't push the cart in. So it just builds up a stack of carts, dude. They put them in like the front forward. Yeah. It literally blocks the entire exit to the point where people are just like, <laughs> it's so ridiculous to see, dude. I'm just, I I'm fucking, I didn't even know what to fucking think when I see that. I've seen this like three or four times where the carts like build like a maze in front of the door because there's no other way to get out because people like push them just a little bit for themselves to get out and then it just like builds up a, a pile of carts because nobody puts them away and I'm just like bruh if we get into a fire everybody's gonna die <laughs> because one half the people who walk in here and that's another thing Half the people who walk into the building, like, don't know where the exit is. So they're just sitting there just like, why isn't the door opening? I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm like, bro, are you serious? I like when people go to the fucking, are you talking like the indoor? They just have no fucking clue. Yeah, the entrance, because the entrance doesn't open on the outside if you go back through the exit just like or, every other fucking store has like yeah. a sliding door that one's the Except entrance and one yeah well walmart's for fucking brain dead <laughs> fucking people so like oh, i can just go through both but any other fucking store that you go to any grocery store you go to target anywhere like yeah the entrance is one and the exit's one any store you go to like Again, besides Walmart, has that setup. And, like, the only other exception that I could think of is the lumber and pro areas. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, that will be an entrance and an exit because it's just one door. But every other place, the normal entrances of those two stores, and then Target, and then the grocery stores, they all have an entrance and an exit sliding door. Or swinging open door, whatever they have. Like, bruh. You just came through that door, you can't go back through it. Like. I swear to these fucking people. We kind of have, like, it's a little different with our cart stacking up, but we do have, like, the, the lumber cart stacking in front of the lumber door. Because 
We don't have a corral for them specifically in front of the building. So if you park in front of the pro area, everybody just pushes it in front of the concrete cinder blocks. But then sometimes people push it in front of the door and it stacks up there. And it used to be fine because we used to be allowed to bring carts inside. But then when they wow. changed their policy and said, oh, we don't want any carts inside the building. Then it just became like fucking no carts in the building. So we couldn't just quickly pull them inside. So just like in the way of the door. Like, bruh. That dub. Let's go, dude. That dude in the Devastate that I didn't have a meltdown about earlier. Like, what a clown. There's a lot of fucking dumb people here. I don't get the difficulty of putting your cart back the correct way. I mean, I get it for, like, if it's one person, if you're just, like, chilling there as a person who's shopping, you're not going to put the carts away for anybody else, but, like... No, but I gotta say who's... doing your own cart, I don't get how that's difficult. Yeah, dude, these... Oh, my God, it's so bad. Like, in any way, when you're at a store, they have designated areas for a cart, whether it's in front of the building, in the building, or a cart corral. How hard is it to put your cart in that correct spot? <clears throat> there has not been one time ever that I've put a cart not back where it's supposed to be. Like, there might have been, like, one extreme case where it's fucking, like, 10 feet of snow or some shit. But, like, genuinely, I can't think of a time that I was, like... Nah, I'm just gonna fucking leave this cart here. Like, wherever. <clears throat> Target, like, typically I take my cart outside and then I put it in a corral. When I go to Big Y, I don't park the closest. And the area that I park in, they don't have any <clears throat> corrals. And I just bring the shit back inside. Or not inside, but like up to the front of the building. And, I mean, people put it to the front of the building and just fucking put it there. And I'm like, bruh, you couldn't go over two more feet and just put it back in the row? And people do, like, the same shit there where they just, like, drop the cart. Literally, if you went forward another inch, you'd put it back in the thing, but they just fucking leave it. And I'm like, bruh. Come on. I don't usually take a cart, but if I do take a cart, um, I go and put it back or... Like, usually, if you're in a parking lot, the parking lot's got some kind of, like, foliage or some shit like that. So I just, like, park the cart up on to, like, the the wood chips or whatever it is. Nah, bro, you gotta put so it in the that... corral at that point. Come on. I mean, well, well, the reason I do that is because <clears throat> um, it so it won't roll. Um, and hit someone's car because that shit's fucking toxic. Yeah, but it won't so like crowd because the metal thing, so it won't slide out. Yeah, no, but like, I I don't do that frequently. I used to do that when I was a kid, but I don't do that frequently. Usually, I just put it back. But I don't normally take a cart. Yeah, I go to Big Y because it's like our shopping for the week. I do, but if I go to Target, I typically don't. But, like, bro, I just don't get how... Oh, fuck that, dude. The people at Target... Well, okay, there's one dude who actually does do his job, but for the most part, fucking nobody ever goes out and gets those cars, dude. That shit's fucking... This is one dude, and he's a fucking piece of shit, dude. <laughs> he's bro, I got fucking... fucking miserable. I'm like, bro... I don't get the carts at Lowe's, because I get my own carts. 
nobody's ever said anything about it except for fucking Saturday. And one of the managers was like, did you not hear they fucking said to get carts? And I was like, bruh, did you not hear that I don't fucking <laughs> work in the rest of the store? Why don't you look at a cart, dude? And we came up, he's like, he's talking like a pirate. No, nah, bro, literally came up, he's like, did you not hear that she called three times to get carts? And I was like, bruh, I was hey, literally bark, bark, bark. putting a pallet up that I was asked to put away. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, I get if you want to come to the other person that's here and say something to me about it, to go get carts, but I work in the lumber department where we have our own carts, and we're not allowed to bring them inside until it's like fucking 7 o'clock, and it's fucking 4 o'clock, dude, so I'm not going outside again. the rest of the store's fucking carts. I don't give a shit. There's one person in my department. There's fucking 20 people in the rest of the store to go get three fucking carts from three corrals, dude. I'm not fucking doing it. So I went outside and I moved every lumber cart in front of the fucking building in my area and did not touch another fucking cart and did not bring in those lumber carts until 6.30 when it started to fucking snow. I'm like, I'm not bringing them in, dude. I'm not lining the aisles at 4.30. And fucking not having customers be able to access shit. You can go fucking do something for once. Your fucking life. This no, dude's your TED talk. This dude's one of those fucking managers. This fucking supervisor. Whatever the fuck they're called. I don't give a shit what they're called. Department supervisors who just fucks off. And then comes around. It's from the fucking other side of the store. Like fucking go waddle back over there, dude. Don't come fucking talk to me. God. Why is he so mad all the time? Bro literally doesn't do his fucking job. Bro hangs around fucking customer service on the fucking paint desk all day. And just fucking comes around and tells the people to do shit. Bro, who the fuck are you, dude? You've been a supervisor for like six months, bro. Fuck off. Bro, I actually did get fucking genuinely like. I mean, that dude's kind of a fucking dick all the time, but I don't really. That's kind of a. Much. That's a wild move, dude. What? They gotta respect the authority. I mean, like, if they're being a real fucking. Wait, shit what's bag, a wild move? To fucking be like, uh, you've only been here for six months. Have you said that to him? I'm just fucking joking. About it. No, he's worked there for a while. Oh, oh he's okay. Became a super- Oh, okay, I was going to be like, damn, that that's wild. <laughs> no, I mean, he he was a manager at another store, so I'm not just going to be like, you can fuck off. Like, I, I mean, I, mean, I don't I, respect I, the dude. That's something, that's, dick, something fair, but, that's something fair to say to the fucking uh, that vegan dude who just fucking became there a There are genuinely crazy. people that, like... No, nah, there's only one person that I think became a fucking manager or supervisor who fucking didn't deserve it and doesn't fucking need to go around acting like I deserve fucking respect. But fortunately, she moved to another fucking store. But that's another fucking subject. This dude, like, I think he's a bit obnoxious. But, like, I don't interact with him enough to have, like, a fucking opinion. Right? I just think that when you come up and you, like, it's the tone of how you say shit. If you just came up and said, hey, you know, they did call for carts, can you get some? Sure. When you come up, like, they called for carts twice, did you hear? And I'm just like, bruh. I just put some shit away two seconds ago. Oh, yeah, asking. but the boy, he already just troll this loser. Like, I was just like, bro, I just fucking. Um, bro dipped already. Don't forget to put the slipstream back on. Oh, my God, you don't need slipstream on. Um, now, this dude genuinely had me fucking annoyed last night. We had. It was a whole fucking day because we had everybody call out. Like, literally, there was, like, five people in the fucking store working that weren't cashiers. We had two dudes from Pro call out, everybody from the tools department, and basically over to unload the truck at night. So, I was helping one of the Dude's picking the order. Pull one of the pro orders that didn't get done. So one of the supervisors in the back unloading the truck because they take her from the floor to unload the truck. 
he goes on the push to talk or goes up the speaker, whatever he did. I went up the speaker. My phone was somewhere. I don't even know what the fucking was. So I called him. He's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just pulling an order. Probably take half an hour. He's like, oh, did you take a break? I'm like, no, nah, I didn't take a break yet. He's like, all right, when you're done with all that, come back and help. I'm like, sure. Sounds good. And the other manager, who I just explained had his cart meltdown, goes on push to talk to the other dude literally 10 seconds later. like, oh, what are you guys working? Or he's like, what are you working on right now? He's like, so the dude on Woods, like, we're pulling an order that has to go out tomorrow morning. This dude's like, I need you guys in the back unloading the truck right now. And I'm just like, bruh. So I go find this dude and ask him where the uh, assistant store manager is. And he's like, he's on lunch. I'm like, god fucking damn it. Of course he is. So we go back. And mind you, this order is more important than having 10 people unloading the truck. Like... This order is thousands of dollars, and as a customer who's spent thousands of more dollars at the same fucking time, dude bought two pallets of shingles, which are $40 per shingle, and the pallets have... $40 a shingle? Or, or the bundle of shingles is $40. <laughs> And he bought 80 bundles of shingles, 90, whatever it was. Yeah. Bro bought 30 pieces of plywood, which are like $20 each. Whoa, dude. So he actually bought like almost 60 of those. And then he bought some boxes of like nails and stuff that were like eighty dollars for like the ones you put like the nail guns. Like so this dude spent significant money. Alright? Bro expects to have the shit tomorrow. So when this dude says I don't care, we tell him, hey this has to go out tomorrow. Yeah, dude. Not the best word choice. Just say I don't care when it comes to a pro customer order. Uh, so we go back and the supervisor goes back, back here, you fucking slutty. The hey, one that slutman. I told, hey, I'm going to pull the order. He's like, why are you back here? I'm like, oh, we were told to come back here. This, this other dude's a fucking clown. <clears throat> so he calls him and then he's like, I guess you're here for now. And then 10 minutes later, this dude comes walking back with somebody else who just came in at 6 o'clock. He's like, all right, you're going to go do the order. And I'm like, that's great, but the dude whose job is fulfillment, you have back here on loading the truck. And my job isn't fulfillment, but sure, I'll go do the order. So I go do the order, which then we ended up just taking somebody from working electrical anyways to come help, which that became a whole process because I was like, this shit will take like half an hour to do, right? Which it genuinely will if you work the whole time. But, when you have nobody on the floor, it just becomes a fucking shit show, because the girl from Electrical that came to help me needs to go do shit in her department if somebody calls and says, oh, I want wire cut, which happened like three times, so she has to go cut wire. There's nobody in tools, so the one person that is there is the supervisor who's unloading the truck, so when that happens... We gotta go help with tools. So some dude wanted a toolbox. So we had to go find the toolbox, take the shit off the top shelf, and then bring it out and load it into his Jeep in the fucking pouring rain, dude. I got fucking soaked, dude. It was like 7.30. Just out here trying to put... All right, dude, you do not need to be a fucking clown. I will end your fucking career. You want to drive me one more fucking time? All right, now you're fucking done. You're fucking absolutely done. Oh no, oh no, he's gone. Please, wait, let me get clear first. He got fucking sent because of Devastate drove into him. Oh, and made him quit. Lol. Be better, Goodbye, idiot. Goodbye. You're gone forever. So you get When you want to fuck around, you find out. So, I went and, like, load the toolbox into this dude's truck. And then the assistant store manager walks out from the customer service area and is like, somebody's helping doors. I'm like, God damn it, dude. 
So I gotta help a dude with doors. And then... This whole time, I've had to drop a pallet of shingles. And this girl that was helping me had to leave at 8. And it's 7.53 by the time I'm done helping this dude with his doors. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I'm like... You're all so fucking obnoxious. So... She spots me so I can drop that, and then she's like, I'll stay like a few extra minutes and spot outside. So I brought in the items from outside, and then she left, and I had to help the dude load his doors. And then the dude working fulfillment came back from unloading the truck, and we got the order done at like 8.30, which we were missing two items on. And then I guess the dude just went in a fucking meltdown because it wasn't done properly or some shit. And I'm like, bro, I don't fucking care. I don't work fulfillment. Fuck off. Like, your order's pulled, go fucking eat a dick. Like. Oh, the other thing was that in the whole time of this, I was actually supposed to do a half hour of cashiering because the dude who does cashiering in Lumber took the day off, so he had to go somewhere. So then the person that took over the hours for it, she then called out. So they had to get somebody else to do it. So the dude that was at self-checkout needed to get a half hour at lunch. So they're like, hey, can you cover the register? Which I was like, sure, I don't have anything fucking going on. And the whole truck meltdown happened. So they took somebody from appliances to do the fucking cashiering. And I'm like, bruh. This is absolutely you ridiculous. Know. Also, to add on top of it, the dude that works the self-checkout needs a fucking bathroom break every 30 minutes so he can go fucking vape in the bathroom. I did a and he, break. He bah. fucking melts down if he doesn't fucking have his bathroom break to go vape in the bathroom. Bro, I need my vape, bro. Bro, it's vape And I'm time, like, dude, bro. I'm like, we bro. don't need fucking Vape Nation <laughs> over here fucking going wild. That's what time it is, bro. Bro, it's time to vape, bro. I guess Bruh, this dude runs sometimes from self-checkout into the bathroom just to vape real quick, and I'm like, bruh. Bruh, let me just vape real quick, bruh. <laughs> like, you need to chill, dude. Well, like, that's just the I little vape, extra bro. details, like, that type of shit. So then I gotta find someone to go to self-checkout so this dude can fucking go to the bathroom, because obviously everybody knows he's vaping, but if he's like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, they can't just be like, nah, sorry, you can't go to the bathroom, dude. Like... Are you gonna do the, I need my bathroom break? Well, I gotta go a break, exactly. take a break, bro. So, like, everybody knows he's gonna go vape in the bathroom. But it's just like. Bro. Like, are you, you don't serious need, right now? Are you taking away my bathroom breaks? You don't need right now, 17, bro. 15 minute bathroom breaks in a four hour right shift. Right now, bro. Like. <laughs> bro, it's time for another break break. But, like. <laughs> <laughs> But bruh, it was so fucking <laughs> ridiculous, dude. Like, all this shit happened, I'm like, I can't wait to get fucking home, dude. I didn't even get a break, dude. Speaking of breaks, bro. I was like, alright, dude, I don't give a fuck. This is stupid. And when I found out when I went in and the, the dudes were fucking mad about the order not being done <laughs> properly. I'm like, bro. Bruh. Well, you can clearly see where the pallet is, dude. Like, just because the system didn't, like, say anybody completed it. You can see in the system clearly that, damn, dude, you got clapped. Did like a double roll, dude. You can clearly see in the system that all the items are picked and one of them says, needs inventory check. It's not hard, dude. Like, I fucking can, dude. Dudes get so hurt about the dumbest shit. But yeah. Ooh. It was a fucking day. So fortunately today I just showed up and fucked off.
I mean, at that point, there's nobody really to fucking blame what the dudes who decide to fucking call out, bro. Like, the fact that everyone in a whole department called out, dude, like, come on. Oh, this dude's about to send me into the wall. Oh, no. But I don't get just the calling out for fucking fun. Like, Like, I'm just going to call out for the lulls kind of shit. Yeah, but just like, bro, I need to take a smoke break, bro, so I'm going to take the <laughs> whole day off. But like, you know what I mean, dude? Like, if I want to do something on a day, I kind of try to like plan and just take that off. Like... I don't know, it's like, I'll do this thing on the day that I have off. Yeah, see, I... You see it as work as a part of your life, and not, like, something you just have on the side. Like... It's a part of your life. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously it's not, like, the most fucking fun thing. I'm not like, damn, I can't wait to spend fucking eight hours at Lowe's today. But, like... Bruh. It's like, well, I got an obligation to be there, so... Yeah, like, I, when I applied to Lowe's, Let's I wasn't, like... like school. Exactly. I wasn't just, like, I'm just going to show up when I fucking feel like it. Like, when I filled out that application and they said, we want to hire you, we want you to work here, and we're going to give you these specific days and the times that you can work, that you've said you can work. Like, it's not like they schedule you on, like, a fucking day that you said, hey, I can't work. Which then, at that point, I would go through the right fucking process... Oh my god. And then I would just say, hey, you schedule me on a day that I'm not available. At a time I'm not available. But, like, that's clearly not it if these people are all of them scheduled. So I've, you know, unless I'm sick, I'm not gonna be like, I'm gonna call out for fucking fun today. My friends have the day off, so I'm gonna have the day off too. Like, no. Bit voice, alright. Not bad for the last finish. We already won. And that's a difficult track. I don't really think we've ever gotten a 1 2 1 in this series, but. But we did kill it in the rest of the episode with the um, wins total. Four one twos in a row. We're back and Racing Master should be back on its regular upload day of Wednesday starting My next dude. week. Unless Wayne gets sick or his entire city floods again. But unless those things happen, we'll be back next week on our normal upload day. You want to hit us with an outro, Gamar, like a proper outro? Like, hit us with a you real good it. outro. Like, the best outro you've ever done. I'll wait. I'm waiting for you to give us a proper outro. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more of racing... Masters. No, 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 time out, time out, time out. More enthusiasm. <clears throat> you guys are excited to see more <laughs> Racing Masters. <laughs> <laughs> nah. If you guys are excited, uh, like, subscribe for the next episode. We're going to smack up the community even harder. You yeah, get uh, one, two in every single race. And um, pull up.